Here at the Beyond Expo in Macau, next generation mobility is on full display. Outside the tech halls, crowds were given a glimpse of what the future of flying cars could look like. This is the X2, a battery powered aircraft known as an eVTOL, which can take off and land vertically. Equipped with autonomous flying capabilities, it's designed to carry two passengers for up to 25 minutes on a single charge. It was produced by Xpeng Aerot, an affiliate of Tesla rival Xpeng. They're one of a handful of Chinese companies leading the way in the development of low altitude eVTOLs. I caught up with Brian Gu, the president of the Chinese EV maker Xpeng, to find out how his company plans to soar ahead in the flying car space. Well, we're different compared to a lot of the other eVTOL players that we think ultimately there's a big demand for consumers to own something that they can drive and fly at the same time. Obviously, uh, right now, uh, you know, flying in, uh, in low altitude is still not very large market yet. But we think China has huge potential, as well as globally, to use low altitude flying. So you need to get the government buy-in for this to literally fly. You need to get consumer buy-in as well. And as a potential consumer myself, I have to ask, is this safe? For this to be successful, there are three factors have to be Align. One, technology has to be there. You have to develop the device that can be flown safely, you know, economically. Two is government regulation needs to be, you know, structured to allow and support such a business. Not just in China, globally too. And I think the legal and regulatory form has to be in place. And third piece is the consumer acceptance. When, you know, this become a reality. I don't think it's that far though. I think it's probably, you know, we will see it in the next five to ten years. Now Brian, you're in the business of EVs that can fly and EVs that are on the road. And recently you said that only about 10 automakers will be able to survive the global EV battle. Why is it so brutal and what does it take to survive? The future smart EV market uh, will take a lot of technological, industrial, consumer, and managerial capability to make it successful. Uh, it's, it's a much taller ask for a company to compete. And that's why we believe in the next five to 10 years, this industry, what we call smart EV industry, will be a lot more concentrated than what we see today in the automotive industry. To be in the top 10 club, I think the minimum ticket is three million uh, deliveries per year. Xpeng delivered more than 120,000 cars in 2022, the cheapest of which retails for around 21,000 US dollars. China is home to the world's largest market for electric cars, accounting for about 60% of global EV sales in 2022. It's also one of the most competitive, and experts say to stay on top, companies need to be nimble. In order for the Chinese EV makers to survive, thrive through this price war and come out on top. They need to have deep pocketed investors, products that resonate with the market, products that compete competitively priced products and the ability to move quickly and to evolve with the consumer's needs. Xpeng is betting on smart EV features to stand out from the competition. I think the next big wave is what we call smartification, not just electrification. The vehicles are going to become smarter on the road. The driver's interaction with the car is going to be different. Uh, the ability to take smart driving technology to be more used on roads will be more adapted and more popular. And that will lead to another wave of changes. And expand, you know, we really think we want to be at the forefront of smart EV wave.